The former South Korean president listed hiking as one of his favorite pastimes. These pictures show him out walking with his wife, Kwon Yang Suk. And it was in connection with payments that went to her, his son and his son's brother-in-law that he faced questioning three weeks ago. He had repeatedly called for a clean government during his five-year term, which ended in early 2008. National television networks provided live coverage of his five-hour journey to the prosecutor's office. Prosecutors stated their belief that while president, he solicited about $6 million from a minor businessman, payments that allegedly went to family members. It wasn't always like this. No was elected in 2002, riding on the crest of a public mood for change. He was a former human rights lawyer who represented a new generation of South Korean politicians. But by the time he left office in early 2008, his term had been a mass of contradictions. He had promised never to kowtow to the United States government in Washington. In his younger days, he had called for the withdrawal of American troops from his country. So he was sharply criticized when he sent South Koreans to Iraq as part of the so-called coalition of the willing. The troops were withdrawn late last year by the current president, Lee Myung-bak. No was also elected on his promise to continue Seoul's sunshine policy of engagement with North Korea. The two Koreas held their first summit for seven years under President No's stewardship. They went ahead in spite of demonstrations in Seoul and the international outcry caused by North Korea's announcement of a successful nuclear test in 2006. The policy led to a terse exchange between then U.S. President George Bush and No. I said to Kim Jong-il as to whether or not we're able to sign a peace treaty to end the Korean War. We've got to get rid of his weapons in a verifiable fashion. I believe that they are the same thing, Mr. President. If you could be a little bit clearer in your message, that would be very much appreciated. But in the end, it was the disappointment of his own people that mattered. Humiliated, No wrote on his website on April 29th, I no longer symbolize the values you pursue. I am no longer qualified to speak for such things as democracy, progressiveness and justice. You should discard me. Lucy Keating, Al Jazeera.